Okay, for the second part of lab two, we're going to test the wilting point pressure, which is 15 bars. And to do that, instead of using the tempe cells, we're going to use a pressure plate extractor. And this has one really large O-ring. You want to make sure that there isn't any dirt, sand, or soil on it, that you clean it really well. Then you take vacuum grease and you cover it around the entire ring and you place it right into the top. And this is going to make a seal once you close the lid. And so what we're putting in the bottom is a big ceramic plate. Just like we did with the Tempe cells for lab two, we had the little tiny ceramic plates. And we soaked them in 0.01 molar calcium chloride overnight. We do the same with this. We soak it overnight. And then what we do is we take these little tiny metal rings and we place them on the plate. And you're actually going to take the soil that we're testing right now. We had them in the soil cores for the tippy cells. We're taking that same soil and we're pouring that into the rings. All right, just like that. You, you don't want to pack it down or anything. You want it to be sort of in its natural state. You want to make sure that, just like with the larger soil cores, that it's even across the top. And once you've got them all filled, you're going to take the same solution that we soaked the plate in, the calcium chloride, and you're going to saturate the core. Then we take a plate and we place it down in the bottom. Right? And we connect this hose. It's, it's going to push out the water that we have inside the plate and inside um, our little mini soil, soil cores. So you shut this. bars and we let it sit for about three days is about how long it takes and then once that's done we open these up take the rings off and then empty the soil into an aluminum pan weigh it put it in the oven overnight and then weigh it again to get the water content at 15 bars 